Okay. I'm London Jen, all one word, free ends on my Jen. It's your boy Rivers, you already know. It's me, isn't it? Oh, I mean, you know what time it is. What are we doing? What are we doing, Jen? What, what? We're doing a roast recap. Okay. Today. So some crazy battles um, are available right now on Patreon. You know, if you ain't on the Patreon, what are you doing with your life? Go yeah. sort it out. Go get the Premier Battles Patreon. But there's some fire battles from the last event, which was the Absolute card, have yeah. been released. and Absolutely, they have been released. We've decided to take in one so far, and that is Mork versus Briggsy. So, yeah, quick recap on how we felt about that one there. Yeah, yeah, quick recap. So, yeah, obviously, Absolute went down. Um, this this battle, um, the two of them, Moak and Briggsy, had a lot to say to each other online, kind of going back and forth. Big build up for this, um, well, considering let's, let's, there wasn't really much history. Before the before we even go into the battle itself, like let's let's just build the backdrop. Mark has had great form mm -hmm. going forward. Like he made his prem debut against Mackenzie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Since he's since then he's gone back. He's battled Celeste, um, Quill. Quill. Yeah. Now he's back for Briggsy. So this is like his fourth prem showing. So yeah. he's really establishing himself over there. He's found his comfortability mm -hmm. over there. Whereas Briggsy is a man that you know you know historically he doesn't pop up regularly mm. unless he's having one of those type of moments where he's got the hunger for it and he's in and he's out and he's trying so and i think he's in that kind of headspace at the minute yeah. where he wants to have a few fights this year he's enjoying yeah. putting material together he likes the pressure of it you know what i mean so coming into this it's a real comp I'm, I'm expecting he came a real off the back of the crazy um joker, joker star. battle yeah okay yeah. aggressive Briggs he you know came in to smoke some shit yeah he really yeah. did so they're both of them on great form hundred going, going into, into this. it yeah, yeah. so it's, it's it's like from the outset looking in it's very like decision wise you know Briggs he has the home advantage mm -hmm. Mork has the form and and the fire in his stomach for this mm -hmm. thing right now so you, you can't tell you where Briggs is the bigger name he's going over to his league you know he's is, is, is a lot of factors to consider factors yes well, indeed for sure on both yes, sides indeed. um so briggsy starts off round one um he's all about um mo going over to the us and coming back and basically saying um yeah he's not getting paid enough or that's it like yeah that. things not paying me enough um i, I might as well i might as well leave <laughs> Um and um Briggsy kind of opened up on that um, yeah, topic there. Yeah, talking about him, you know, basically bragging about how big he is in the game, but you don't get views like that. Executed the angle really, really well. It was fire, it was all hitting. Um great opener, carried it through, and he's almost bringing it home. Almost bringing it home. Um, oh no, no, he did bring it home. He brought it home. Yeah, he brought it home, and 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 Stro ended off the round. Oh yeah, Stro in time. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was a nice round. It was a really nice. That's round. that's Stro's yeah, second yes. um assist in a Briggsy battle yeah. in recent times. Yeah. Though I feel like we we might see him creeping back towards the ring. That's what it's kind of looking like a little bit still. Like, see, these little Stroh. moments and whatnot. Yeah, but. That's it. Yeah, so it's a strong round for yeah, Briggs. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, really nice angle, done well. Um, Moat comes out. Um, he's like, as he start the yeah. <laughs> nice, nice kind of, you know. It breaks little, up the kind of energy. But to go back to Briggs' round, I felt like Briggs had a lot of stuff that was, for me, quite slept on. I felt mm. like he had a lot of things that, you know, I can't even quote anything just now. Just salute to the way I type yeah. all day, every day. And that trap, but yeah, I felt like the his approach was very serious. Mm, to be honest, yeah, I, for yeah. me, I, I've never thought of going to prem and just starting off mm. super duper. This is the problem, mm. Like I always feel like you warm into them, and it's mm. I was shocked that he didn't yeah. really try that approach. He was just on his neck. I think yeah. like right now, 
Uh, I think Briggsy really wants to have like scraps, like proper fights. Mm. He's not trying to finesse the win. He's not trying mm. to do that. He wants mm. to really go for your neck. You go for his, and yeah. who comes out as the winner in it? So I think that's the approach he took. But yeah, he did that with that round for sure. But then Mulk is kind of in a. I feel like he's in a place where. Mm. You know, when you're battling on this league and that league, and you've started off on the other league, and mm. you're you've you're learning what the differences are mm. for each place that you go to. Yeah. So you're learning this yeah. stuff that I did that didn't work over here will work here. Mm. This stuff that I did here that don't work will work. Mm -hmm. So he's figuring out his own jigsaw puzzle, and I feel like he got it right. One thing I'll say is his round was definitely much more longer than Briggs's round, mm. but I still preferred his moments leading up to mm. his bigger moments mm -hmm. anyway. You know I mean, so I think I still would have preferred his first round regardless. Mm. Even if you cut his round short, I'm sure I would have heard enough in that round to have still preferred it over yeah. what I heard from Briggsy anyway, to be honest. Yeah, I think, yeah, he definitely had the the, the sort of bigger punches. I think they both, you right. know, really told a story. Um, Moke starts off with, with curry bars, like, talk Chesney. about, yeah. Funny. Talk about, you know, knowing what would work where. Great opener, you said, you know, people often warm into. That's exactly what Moke did. Open with a curry bar, got everybody laughing. Um, and then he had, you know, the shuffle tea thing by the book. So he had yeah, yeah. great opener. And then just, you know, continued punching. Um, big, big crowd reactions. Um angles within it as well yeah yeah he so it's, it's a real mixed bag in his first round as well really nice he had that you know that lemsic night nurse and yeah, the ginger and then, shot wow. thing, like brought it back yeah, yeah you yeah, know yeah, yeah. it was a really nice um really nice around. yeah really nicely structured it was round. very it was very it was very abk-esque in its delivery and its structure <laughs> if i may say so myself but like i say like you know, who, who am I? That's because you're, you're all right together, right? In your group chat. I, I, I how right? dare you? How dare you? I have you done do. nothing. You're sitting there right together. No, sir. Yeah. No, sir. I can, I can tell which bars you wrote. I know you wrote at least. Uh, you wrote that one. I've just, I've just got time to. You wrote I've that just got one. time to get. You know, battles cancelled and and be right for people at the same time. Scoop wrote that one. That's definitely a crowbar. Oh, was it? Uh, <laughs> nice. Opened it up and that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I opened it. He opened it up with the crowbar, didn't he? he uh, the Chesney did. thing. That's that's, that's that definitely, definitely worked yeah. for him still. Um, but yeah, you know, mixed it up with the humor and the aggression. Um, showing off different skills. Really nice, solid round. And yeah, just like twice at least, twice as much material. Always, always has um an impact when you don't lose the crowd when you're there's no filler there you know it's consistent yeah. enjoyable material so um Briggsy comes out in the second <coughs> um and um he basically takes him takes him into the office teaches him the oh, business oh yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. The, what was it was it the premier battles um performance performance review performance it was review. the performance review you put him in a um, premier battles performance review i like that yeah, like that. that's kind of, yeah, that's it. He took him, you know, he took him, talked to him like the manager of Premier Battles would. And, you know, you've been here for a minute now. I would argue that if he opened with this round mm. instead, he might have been able yeah. to... Yeah, to, yeah, I yeah, feel, yeah. So, because it does kind of change the dynamic. Yeah, yeah, you're like, writing up sort of as well. Of course, of course. Starting with the humour, then you're hitting them. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's, like, okay, mm, he's right, in his bag no now. More. No more Mr. Funny Guy now. Because you're not figuring it. You, you get hit, hit them with that, then yeah. Mark has that round, and now they're ready to hear you mm -hmm. hard hitting. You understand? I feel like maybe they wasn't ready for him to be as hard hitting yet. But when by the time he opened that door and Mark, Mark went into multiple bags, yeah. hard hitting yeah. moments, humorous yeah. moments. Yeah. I just feel like maybe Briggs didn't have as much variation yeah. Yeah, in that. Point. Is there anything more yeah. to say about Mark's first round? Or? No, no, no. Yeah. Go. So who you got in that first round? Oh. I think I said, yeah, Moke. Mo he was on Briggsy second, yeah. I think I'd said oh, Moke, yeah. Mo it was okay, hard, okay. especially when he had so much more material. Um, but, yeah, so in the second, then Briggsy goes into, you know, he's Dirty got that stuff. Review. He's got a really nice punch about um, Briggs, uh, Moke being a spoken word artist but doesn't get words spoken about him. 
and kind of really sells that angle really nicely. Mm. And then it's here where literally it says the last bar he he stumbles on and you could Falls kind of horse. yeah, you could kind of see it coming um a little and it, it you know it's like doing a triple loop backflip and having a shit this month. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like we, yeah. we do respect yeah. the somersault but yeah. not landing on the tippy toes. Yeah. Makes it a little bit more. Yeah, know. now you know, you kind of have to if he lands on his toes. Opponent, yeah, yeah. That's a, if he that's lands on his toes, I'm, I'm inclined to think Yeah. Because he if he gets the nine nine and you've only got the nine, you know, yeah. that point deduction for the end is especially if he end. lands one of them triple loops as well. Yeah, exactly. And um he he really did. Because yeah. then, you know, Moat kind of comes out and Speaks about the business. Yeah, he call, and extent. he calls him Mr. HR of Battle Rap. Um, so you just brought him in the office. To a performance review, and yeah. now he's calling you Mr. HR. This it's, is the beauty of Battle Rap yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's lovely when, when that kind of happens. Works, kind um, of writing. Yeah, yeah. Again, very ABKS. <laughs> but again, we'll leave it there because people start talking about, you know, who's writing for who and what they say. No writing yeah. for nobody. Yeah, no. Um, I heard them bars for the first time today. Yeah. Literally. You didn't even hear anything. No, because as like Mo, you'll go online and you'll see Mok say, "I I took it a bit last minute." Yeah, to yeah, write yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think when he takes it a bit more last minute, he doesn't really have time to Get reach the, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He just yeah, goes straight yeah. into it, and this is what got, it is. I just got, yeah, 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 I just got to make this decision. That's and it. Stick I'm with going it. with this. Um, yeah, he talked about kind of Briggsy, you know. Going around, well, not going around, really, make him sound like some whore. <laughs> Briggsy's not a whore. Um, going, jumping from league to league and, you know, working on every league, putting in work and, and just sort of. Um, on to the next guy. Yeah, of. yeah. Um, and, but he, he's scheming really heavily in this one. Um, and he, he, he does a lot of, you know, height stuff. There's a lot of height stuff kind of thrown within, in yeah, yeah within the other stuff yeah yeah but that the hr about rap like he executed that angle really really nice it came at a perfect time as well um yeah. oh man rock played games rock played games with you and cut cut with your paper, paper. Yeah, like he had a line about twerk as well yeah yeah something about you dropped a bag on twerk knowing that he snatches purses yeah yeah, yeah come on man yeah um, doing a lot. He really, yeah, did yeah. a lot in there with a lot of nice, like the crowd was. The, the, I'm not even going to do too many because you need to go and watch it. You need to definitely you go, go and, and get the, the, the VOD, uh, the purse, go and support the, the Patreon. Um, yeah, I've written Killing This Angle, um, kind of talked about him being shot in shotty shadows. He has a short man syndrome stuff. Um, there's some fire bars in there. Um, and then I oh, does the performative thing where he tells him I've been rapping like this for a reason. Like, go and, you have to watch that. Yeah. You can't even kind of... There's nothing we can yeah, describe. We can only have fuck to, it up by describing it. Or, to you know, break down all of it to really, yeah, say, yeah. you know, go and watch it. It was fire, really nice. Um, I think Mo often has those um, where he ties in his material with, with his physical performance. Yeah. Um, and it works really, really well. Um, considering he's, you know, a spoken word artist. That's he's very sort of aware of how to use his self on the stage. That's it, that's it. Very... Yeah, and how you can use, you know, more than just your instrument to to sell the bars. Um, yeah. Your body can... <laughs> Isn't that so odd? He was using his body to sell the bars. But, um, he was using yeah. his performance skills. There you go. <laughs> Save you, bro. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but um, again, I think Mo took that round pretty, pretty clear. Um, it was a great round from from Briggs again until yeah. until the end. You know, you, you, you get full dismount. credit. That's it. It's that dismount. Whereas Mo threw in a couple extra pirouettes as well on the way um, to the triple double yeah. somersault with the perfect pointed toe dismount. Uh -huh. Um, arched back and everything. Arched back. <laughs> back. Did I say he arched his back? Now leading into Briggs' <laughs> next round, 
which was a crazy segue from my sister Jen. Briggs went left. <laughs> I thought I went left by saying, no, 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 no. The energy, he was overcome by the, the, the audacity of Briggsy. Like, I'll say, listen, I must say something. I'm going to give an overall for both of them afterwards, innit? But let's just get into this round first, innit? <laughs> Briggsy, I don't really want to. Um, yeah, let's not spoil it. it. I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say this. Briggsy, you know better. <laughs> you know better, Briggsy. Like, there is no way that you wrote that and said, you know what, this might possibly work. That was laziness on your half, bro. On your behalf, I should oh, say. Oh, do you think he was short for a third last minute and trying to pick some low-hanging fruit that really wasn't even fruit? It was... <laughs> it was... It was a poisoned apple. I mean, uh, poisoned apple still fruit, still, but... Yeah, I, I couldn't think of the right reference fast enough. Um, <laughs> it was a potato, but potatoes don't hang from trees. I was like, it has to hang from a tree, low hanging fruit. Okay, I hear you. It was, it was really a sloth, sloth bollocks. Sloth bollocks. Because sloths hang in trees okay. and they'd be and hanging. So you thought, a, you thought it was a fruit, but it was a pair of sloth bollocks. Okay. I would like to remove us out of this analogy because it doesn't help. But I'll just say this Briggs. I don't know what you thought was going to happen, yeah? I don't know if you thought <laughs> we, we was going to jump in a time machine and end up back in grand time in 2011, 2012 or something. I don't know. But that weren't it, bro. <laughs> that weren't it, bro. That really wasn't it. And when you said it as well, you had a look in your face that made me know yeah. that you knew uh, in that moment yeah. that you fucked up. Yeah. Like, literally, I could see in your yeah. face. It was almost like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, it was at this moment, yeah. I think what he should have did with that is been a bit more, I think you should have did that angle. Let's start there. <laughs> Let's just not do the angle full stop. But I'm saying, you know, like, oh, I don't want to spoil a battle mm. that Black T had, but. Black T got to the point of something, but didn't say it. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let yeah, the crowd, yeah. you, you can imagine what's meant to be there without man having to say it. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like, at least you haven't said it, and the crowd yeah. have to think it, and it's on them. It's yeah. not really on. Yeah. So maybe something like that would have been better suited, than it? But it was kind of a bit more in depth than that. So it's not. Yes, yeah, so it's like, a build up yeah. kind of thing. But definitely go and go and watch it. It was a risk, and um, it didn't pay off. Yeah. Sometimes you gamble, sometimes you lose. Yeah. Yeah. So um, <coughs> Moke then starts his third. Um, he really should have rebutted that. I think, I think he so. Said that yeah, he should have. I, f- I thought he was cooking up a rebuttal. Yeah. When he was like literally yeah. waiting for Briggs yeah, to finish. Yeah, because he wouldn't have had to do too much. Yeah, something like. Um, and I would have thought Moke is you know comfortable up there on that stage, but it's those sorts of things that really help. And not everybody has rebuttals necessarily in their in their um, artillery. But if you can, at moments like that, it really helps to kind of set you apart a little bit. Um, set you apart a little bit. Well, still, yeah, you know. Like, I thought you was immaculate with rapping. You had the chance to come up here and change the game, and that's what you imagined? That, just, yeah, yeah. It's just something like, yeah. it didn't have to be nothing crazy. Yeah, that's you know it. That's Granted, it. I've watched the battle and literally been sitting here right now forcing the button yeah. in my head. But, you know, in a moment, Maybe some, some, mm-hmm. but it didn't matter anyway. Because yeah, yeah, it's not like you you, you needed it. You didn't. It um, would have just been a nice touch to give you an extra ten mm-hmm. points, or maybe mm-hmm. something like this. Yeah, I mean, Mo Mo comes out the kind of just clowning, clowning him. Yeah. Um, he really does some, some a lot of the short stuff. Uh, <laughs> you're so short when you do burpees, they count. Oh, when you do, yeah, <laughs> when you do burpees, they count until you got That's hilarious. I mean, it's built like a Yorkshire pudding. One said, you're so short when people say they remember you from yay high. You don't know if it was back in the yeah. day or they talk about the same yeah. time. Or yeah. Like... yeah, it was nice. I um, think with then... the, with the, with the, sorry to cut you, but with mm. the kind of 
let's say cheap angle that Briggsy just took, yeah. it only made Mulk's material a bit more stronger. Yeah. It? Whereas I think if Briggsy had time really in depth, yeah. the crowd would have been looking at these short jokes like, yeah. come on, Mulk. Yeah. But yeah, I think yeah. because the narrative was already set yeah. in another way, it just worked for him now. But then Fair game. he also added in another couple of elements in that third. So he did the camera thing. Um, yeah. Not, you know, yeah. if you watch this on the YouTube, I'm really, that should edit beautifully yeah. and really sell, you know, his, his show, show his, not only how well he wrote it, but, you know, how, how he takes into account, like you say, not only they're working the stage, working the cameras, which is yeah, something yeah, I kind yeah. of really try and say to, especially the, the, the newer guys, how effective knowing where your cameras are and using them to your advantage it really shows um if you know get your bars right get your delivery right get all of those things right before you start even thinking about you know too much about where your cameras are but you should always be aware of not just the audience in front of you but the viewing audience at home it's something that you should be aware of and the more skill you have the more you can play around with things like that he did a couple of things. He's been a student of the game since yeah. since back in the day. So I just think now he's in the big stages to where he can put what he naturally mm. does and what he learned together yeah. and make it work. Yeah. Like he's he's built for that yeah. stage. Yeah. I mean, I will, I, will we, who are we giving the last round to? Clearly, Mark, right? Clearly. Okay, clearly cool. Mike, can uh, I make my overall criticisms of both? Yeah, go on. I'll start with Briggsy in it. I feel like Briggsy had patches of lazy writing. Mm -hmm. He's a busy guy. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I think there's patches of lazy writing, which against people like Mark, that they're like, let's just say anyone from ABK, we're trying to put everything we can into our material. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because you will not outright us. You're not gonna. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If whatever you could do, we're trying to do that. Then some. You understand? Mm -hmm. So against an opponent like that, I would have really been more in depth with writing. I probably wouldn't have chosen and plus much more well rounded. It's a prem, bro. Mm. I shouldn't have to tell you that. It's your name, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you should have been much more well rounded. You should have had a bit more humour. That that second round thing that you did was fire. I think that with more bars around it, in the front and behind it, whatever, mm. you can't really fuck with that, but that's it. And that third angle, nah, bro. You should have known. If it's a risk like that, don't do it. But, but uh, also, you know how to read your own room. I think if somebody else... I feel like in any room. If somebody, like, but particularly in your own room, like, I don't, I think if somebody else had come to him with that, yeah. he would he would have said, him. yeah, no, nah, it's not going to work. No. Um, no. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> my other, so that that's basically my criticism of him, isn't it? I just mm. think maybe more in depth you know more well-rounded mm. was the main thing mm -hmm. i think in in all like so for example rather than having a funny round serious round and then that weird third mm. round every round should have all the elements mm. in it bam all the elements in this round the part where i'm like this the part mm. where i'm like that then this round the part where the, yeah and i think that would because you gotta think we're looking at crowds now where it's like on any given moment we don't know which of these elements that we give them is going to be the thing yeah that wakes them up so we've got to give them a taste of everything can it a little sample of everything wake them up whatever in it mulk my criticism of mulk would be you won clearly but i feel like your writing now is at a level where we can't see you stumbling mm. or sloppy or doing anything and not to say sloppy because i wouldn't say sloppy it was cool there but was a couple of you could have been cleaner had, yeah, yeah yeah could it have been like, cleaner it's yeah. like you're it's like it was like he's wearing a suit but your shirt was tucked out of your trousers yeah. on that bit there yeah he's wearing a tie but your top button was undone and the tie was a bit loose yeah. and whatnot so it's just like we just want you to just you straightened it up yeah. halfway yeah. but for the first half of the book, bits and yeah. pieces yeah. Isn't it? we want to see you yeah. the full flawless all the way around Fabergé egg, as mm -hmm. my brother Georgie Root says, where it's like unchallengeable from yeah. all angles, and yeah. like that's yeah. really what we want to see mm -hmm. as the next level up now for Mo for Mo. So it's not even really a um, bad criticism; it's more a constructive yeah, one. Isn't it? Like, if, think about it: if you can win like that, 
think about what you're going to win like when there aren't the moments yeah. that you can critique yeah. yourself on. That's all I'll say. Yeah, yeah overall. Agree. And no reaches like Pete and Bay's. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. Do you not know it's Pete and Bay's? You must do. You must have been taking a piss. But you know what it is? You know sometimes... Taking the pace. You might have been taking the pace. But sometimes when you read things a lot and you don't actually hear them being said, you can pronounce it and yeah. run with the pronunciation yeah. you've got. So, like, but I would never have seen that as base. Fabio Farron. Yeah. I never say You thought it was Fibio. Fabio. But I think it's because, yeah, I read it as Fibio before I'd heard anyone say, say his name. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I'd written it so often. Now it's so... Anyway, Fabio. that's so, so tangential. Um, rambling but yeah I, I think you're right you know it's it's really polishing so that making sure there aren't um, you know it's that that complete um, flawless performance every time unquestionable yeah like I don't want to figure out like this here the fans can't question the result but the battlers can question the winner. He's like, he, he, I, he won that battle, mm. but I see a few chinks, and the art is like, no chinks. Yeah, I would, yeah, I think, you know, great, great performance from Moog, um, other than, you know, a couple of very small stumbles and a little reach, a little reach here or there. Um, it was a really strong, strong, well rounded got the job done, performance, yeah. really did. Um, so yeah, congrats, congrats to Mike. Another, another great performance over at Prem. Um, shout out Briggs, really liked a lot of the material. Um, you know, I think Rivs was kind of summed that up really nicely. And yeah, looking forward to watching the rest of the card. Um, and yeah, hopefully put some more recaps out, um, and some more roast recaps. That would be dope. We will definitely be returning to um, Sunday roast this weekend. But um, probably not back to usual regularly scheduling. scheduled. There you go. That's gotcha. one. Thank you. Um, but yeah, anything to leave them with? Um, yeah, man. Great event from what I've seen so far. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the others. Um, yeah, that's it. Anything else that I say? It's gonna get us in trouble. So I ain't saying anything else. That's all. But just know, very soon you're gonna hear some things. Oh shoot! That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. We'll keep keep a lookout for that. Hit the like. Um, show some love. Hit subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to see what 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 rivers what rivers you want to see what rivers is talking about then hit the bell, the notification Please. bell. Yeah, um, hit that bell so that you get a notification anytime there's content coming out. And I've got some more stuff coming this week as well. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are out. So